Here is the situation today. I have withdrawn these uh, four shiitake uh, blocks from the fridge earlier this morning. And now it's the evening. I repaired a little bit the greenhouse, so now it's well closed if you have seen it earlier. Uh, but still, it's only like 60% moisture in there. It's crazy. I mean, the Mediterranean climate is something crazy, and still there is shiitake growing in there. I can show you a little bit. The little guys. Okay, with a lot of crackles on the, on the skin. Now, uh, okay, here we go. You don't see, I don't see anything, but this white dot there is a small. Let's take it out. So, yes, this is shiitake primordial. Primordial means this is the small mushroom, what will become the small mushroom. So if we water it, we keep it moist all the time, it will become a mushroom like this. What I will do now with the, these blocks I removed from the fridge is to beat them. Yes, Shitake he has a masochistic attitude, he likes the beating. Okay, so uh, usually I just turn them around and, and give them some pushes like this. This one is quite hard. Didn't soak so much moisture, maybe because it's his third flush or something. This one has more water inside, you feel like it's smooshy, or how do you call it in English? But you feel that there is some water inside, look here. It's like a sponge, it's dry only on the outside actually. So I hit strong enough to loosen a little bit, but without breaking anything. I mean, I don't want to hurt the mycelium. So again, this one has a lot of water inside. It's quite black, the color, compared to this one, for instance. You can see the difference. So the black one is not good. This ha one didn't, dra um, didn't brown normally. It, it was too moist at some point of his life. So it developed too many bacteria. And this is the black. This one you have different uh, conditions of blocks here. Well, okay. At the bottom, these two blocks are quite good. They have like black spots, but nothing. I mean, they had a little bit of mold, but now it's over since they are, you know, at 56 degrees uh, and so compared to this one which is very black and this is not good here this orange color and the worst is this one that they didn't brown at all to this the stamets method to, to put the, the block to start it before it browns actually sometimes it doesn't brown very well afterwards so stay like this and well it looks more like oyster block actually but yes yeah, not like a shiitake block but well it's surviving and it's still giving mushrooms so uh, that's good anyway so okay now I I have beaten these small blocks I will put them in the greenhouse. Full brown type uh, block. Actually, this one is making 
mushroom here. I soaked it the previous day. And so it's giving nice. It is less, less reddish than this one. Maybe this one I should let it outside to dry more, but I mean, at 67% inside the greenhouse, more likely it will brown inside. Uh, dry, I mean, inside. Well, no, I do, it will never brown this one. This one looks in a better state. Uh, another mushroom here. It's a very small one. So, one here, very small. One right here. So, now what I will do is to water. What I do is to water the, the fruits and to shower the green and this uh, bags is size and perlite and the stones, mosses. I try to boost the and when it's dry like this we can also wash the the blood cells. But if it's not uh, very dry, uh, you shouldn't let them wet because they will mold very fast. Especially the one we did just so now. And I will also wet this part. Provide a lot of moisture. Evaporate and then I can close it. And we can see now how much does it improve the situation. So it's not very clear to the camera, but it's 59%. I think it will take a few minutes to, to climb to maybe 70%. So I will wait and show you a bit later. But probably it will be it. I mean, in one hour it will be again 50% and the blocks in two hours will be dry exactly like I found them. Okay, I don't want here to put uh, ultrasound humidifier and so on, but probably later, uh, before the summer, I will add sprays inside the greenhouse. This I, I did had before sprays at the top of the greenhouse, wetting all the plastic every eight hours, maybe 12 hours, and this keeps good moisture. So this is the balcony growing with the plants at the top.